How did that get here? This one's gonna be pretty straightforward. All we're doing is we're taking the chicken carcass and the bones that we have left over, and we're making something really delicious and comforting with it. This is also something that we can use for other things in our cooking. So let's go ahead and dive right into how they make this stock video. So for the chicken stock, we're gonna need chicken. I like to get whole birds because I could just go ahead and break it down, use the rest for something else, and then just save the carcass for the stock. You don't have to do this. You can go ahead and just save whatever bones you have left over from say your last night's chicken thigh dinner. Carcass in the pot. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and fill this pot up with water all the way to the top. Big pot of water, fill it to the top, chicken's in here, we're gonna get it on the heat. Okay, now, here's what's going on in the pot. I've got my skimmer here, just a fine mesh skimmer. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, and we're gonna start to see all the blood coagulate at the top. That's what that scummy looking stuff at the top is, it's just the blood. So I'm gonna bring that up to a boil, then drop it down to a simmer, skim off that blood, toss it, and then we're gonna add in the veggies. Mirepoix is what we call that. Okay, all that is skimmed off, it's looking clean. Now it's ready for mirepoix. So usually mirepoix is carrot, celery, and onion, but you know, it's totally fine to use whatever you have with stock. This is the time to go ahead and utilize all of your leftovers and your scraps. So I'm just gonna cut the onion. Please don't be the person that puts the root of the onion in. Toss that, it's dirty. Go ahead and cut that guy up into big chunks. Skin on is fine. Then I'm just gonna do some scallions because I have them, they're going bad. Same thing with the carrots, big chunks, take the root off. In addition to that, you can go ahead and toss in some herbage. I've got some thyme that's gonna be really nice in this stock, as well as some bay leaf. And of course, you gotta add in your spices, like I have some peppercorn from Spiceology and some coriander. Be really good in there. So this is all the stuff I'm gonna to toss in. Let's go ahead and do it. She's going now. We have it going at about low heat, simmering. We don't want it to be a hard rock and boil. We want it to be a nice, clear, translucent stock. And we're gonna reduce this by about half, maybe a little more. This will take around six to eight hours. So I'm just gonna let it go, be patient. Let your house get all the smells. It's gonna smell really good, so there's another plus. And once this has reduced by about half or more, I'm gonna go ahead and strain it, throw it in the fridge. I don't know if you can see this here, but here is some stock I had already made in my fridge. So you could see what it'll look like when it chills up. Really nice, like, like jello, like jello. As you can see, there's some fat on there. That layer of fat acts as a nice insulator. So I'm gonna use this stock for the demi. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make demi with this stock once we're finished. Okay, stock's done. As you can see, it's reduced by more than half. I may have let it go more far than I thought I should have, but it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a really, it's gonna be a really flavorful stock. So first, I'll usually just take out the bigger pieces with tongs. All this stuff will just get tossed, by the way. Then just get yourself a container to drain it into. I've just got a pot here. Then you wanna get yourself a strainer, one that's extra fine, maybe one that you can use to prop up. So I use a really fine mesh sieve. That's what you want. As you can see, since I took it so far, it's really dark. This is gonna be a really nice thick stock. Now I'm just gonna set this in the fridge with a towel under it, of course, and just let that chill overnight. And then I'll go ahead and make the jus the next day. Thanks to Movie Magic, it'll just be in a couple of seconds. Okay, it's the next day. How was your last few seconds? Mine were good. Cool. So as you can see, the stock is pretty much gelatinized. 
and it has this layer of fat over the top. I'm gonna go ahead and skin this fat off and then we're gonna go ahead and make our jus with the leftover stock. Now you can go ahead and save this fat. I'm just gonna toss it, but you could save this chicken fat for other things. <sighs> Pretty tired. Okay, so as you can see, I took the fat right off and now we've got this really nice stock under there. Onions. Just sort of rough chop them. It doesn't matter how you cut these guys because we're just gonna use them for the flavor. Get yourself a pot that's wide enough to cook these onions off. Teeny, teeny, teeny amount of canola, like a touch, not too much. Just toss your onions in. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just getting as much color as possible on these guys. Go ahead and season them with some salt. Black pepper, of course. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna do my first round of deglazing. I have a cup of water here. I'm just gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of the water. Go ahead and scrape off all that fawn that's building up and we're gonna get some color on these onions. Now, once that water goes down to nothing, we're gonna cook it off for a little longer, add some more water and repeat this process until our onions are very, very dark, like almost black. Then after that, we'll add our round of wine. I'm just gonna let this water go down au sec, which just pretty means, it pretty much means all the way down. That's what au sec means. Word of the day, au sec. Once that's reducing right there. Uh, just gonna go over what we're gonna do next here. So I've got some Beaujolais. There's, this is something we would do at the palace at work. Uh, we would do white wine during the summertime for our jus. And for the winter time, we would switch to red wine, which is a darker, sweeter, obviously, because it's red. Um, yeah, so seasonally, we changed the color of the wine. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and use red wine because it's not quite summertime yet. So red wine in. I'll let this reduce au sec. Okay, before we add this stock in, I need this stuff looking dry. No trace of that liquid from the wine left over. I need it to look dry as my humor pretty much. Good, cool, all right. Just gonna go ahead and toss this in. Now we just bring this guy up to a simmer and then just drop it down to low, low heat. All right, we've reduced it all the way down. As you can see, it's really thick and the color is just hella dark. Now I'm gonna go ahead and strain it out. Now just look at that, beautiful. Looks like motor oil actually. So this stuff, you could pretty much put it on anything. Put it on a steak, put it on a chicken, whatever. All purpose jus. We just went from making stock to making demi to making jus. This stuff is just like liquid gold. You can save it in the freezer pretty much indefinitely. In the fridge, it'll probably last a couple of weeks. Thanks so much for watching the video. Go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, if you're still watching, uh, this is just a little bonus I thought I should add to the end of the video. I'm just gonna show you how I cook a steak. So maybe you can do one too to enjoy with this jus. With every steak, I only do salt and fresh black pepper, so. So with your steak, you wanna be generous with your seasoning. So as you can see, my skillet is dry. There's no oil in there, nothing. It's just on high heat right now. The steak, I'm gonna put it fat side down and we're gonna render that fat we're gonna cook the steak in its own fat we don't have to put any oil or butter or anything I like to sort of move it around so I can get all that beef fat on my skillet I'm ready to flip it my steak pretty rare so after a minute or two I'm just gonna give it a flip Now I'm just gonna turn the heat off, and it's pretty hot right now. So I could just let it chill out in there, keep cooking. I'm just gonna add in some butter. I'll add in some lemon pepper. Just sort of flavor the butter a little bit. Baste it.
Now I'm just gonna let this chill out in the butter and rest. Now all that's left to do is just enjoy your steak. So slice that up. There you go. That's how I like mine right there.